What's up, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today I got a few things I'm doing and talking about. First, I'm going to get a mattress and do a little small mattress removal job. Bring that back to the house. Then we gotta go pick up a trailer rental that I rented out yesterday. And then we're doing scrap metal and that's gonna be the base of this video. And I just wanna talk about how scrap metal actually can be a pretty decent side hustle and especially obviously if you're in a, the junk removal business like I am you should be keeping your metal and keeping a pile in the backyard or somewhere where you keep a pile of metal because it adds up realistically I probably get 50% of my dump fees in general like all of my dump fees covered by how much metal I scrap especially with the prices metal is going out nowadays if you're not in the junk removal business you can still can benefit from this video because there's tons of people out there that just drive around and pick up scrap metal off the side of the road and i know they don't make a lot of money but for like a 16 17 18 year old kid that they, they, i know they make decent money for someone that age so i don't see many kids doing it because i don't think they really know how to do it properly Obviously you wanna scan Facebook and look for people that are listing free washers, dryers, um, ladders, like anything metal, and just drive around and pick up metal all day. And then maybe you wanna contact some AC repair companies, uh, appliance companies, and ask them, let them know that you're picking up metal for free. And if you do that, you can definitely build up a clientele. I wouldn't rely on making this into a business or anything, but if you get a few like AC unit repair guys that give you old AC units just to get them off their hands and you want to go pick those up for free those have copper in them so you can rip those apart and make a lot of money from one AC unit not a lot but and you could still do this as an adult it just I wouldn't rely on it as a full-time job obviously it's a side hustle um, but yeah scrap metal is definitely a decent way to make money on the side especially if you it's like pretty much passive you can do it completely on the side by just driving to work and keeping an eye out for stuff on the side of the road because there's appliances um, ladders wheelbarrows like there's always metal stuff sitting on the side of the road in front of people's houses metal chairs lawn chairs um, sometimes people throw out those like old metal tubs like stuff like that you just keep an eye out for that stuff and collect it as you're driving around doing your normal stuff day to day and at the end of the month say you have a pile of stuff 500 to a thousand pounds that's an extra hundred bucks here and there it definitely is worth doing and then if you actually want to put some effort into it and like I said scan Facebook every other day or whenever you want um, call out to some AC unit people and you can get copper and stuff like that added up and piles of copper going then you're talking about some real money anyways um, like I said, I'm gonna go to this mattress job. We gotta go pick up the trailer rental and then I'm gonna go to the scrap yard with you guys and show you how I do that. I really don't have that much metal. It's not a lot at all, so I don't expect a lot of money, but it's more than you would think. Like this stuff that I'm going to scrap is stuff you would find on the side of the road all the time. But obviously I got it from Junk Ruble because I do Junk Ruble for my job, so I get a lot of metal. But I could definitely see this kind of stuff sitting on the side of the road or listed on Facebook Marketplace saying, come pick up for free. I'm almost to this mattress job I'm gonna bang that out then we're gonna go pick up my trailer then to the dump then to the scrap yard so stay tuned nothing like living in florida i honestly just had the camera flip the wrong way just now and i seen i was going over a bridge and i was like ah, oh, that's a good moment to get a nice shot of the water <laughs> so that's what you just saw just picked up the mattress with the box spring easy 100 bucks uh he paid me over zell so that's why i'm not showing you the cash i actually have something kind of funny and crazy to say uh he was like thanks for coming i really appreciate it and all this stuff and being ex ex extraordinarily nice if is that even is that even the right word to use there extraordinarily am i even saying that right anyways he was being nice and then he's like all right he's like by the way just so you know um the cheapest other quote i could find was 250 dollars and i was like like what <laughs> He's like, yeah, you're a lot cheaper than the competition. And I was like, thinking in my head, I'm like, people are quoting a mattress and box spring removal for $250? Like, that's crazy. I, I th could see like $200 maybe from like Junk King, which is like obviously one of the biggest junk removal companies ever. And they have a lot of overhead, so they have to charge more. But he said he called around like the, a few places and the cheapest place he could find was 250 and then there was me. And I know I'm cheap, but they gotta be over bidding jobs either because they're too busy or something because $250 for a mattress removal is outrageous but with that being said I might bump my prices up for a king size mattress removal with box spring to 120 because 
but that's I'm literally less than half. Like I can't be screwing the market that much. I'm just gonna be ruining it for everyone. So I might need to bump my prices up on mattress removals a little bit. Um, but yeah, that went smooth. Easy hundred bucks. It's probably gonna cost me ten bucks to dump. So pretty much like eighty dollars profit after you take a take away gas and everything. But back to the house. Uh, drop this trailer off. Go get the dumpster rental picked up. Bring that to the dump. Then bring that back. Then pick this trailer back up. Um, bring all the metal to the scrap yard. And show you guys how the scrap metal process works. And see how much we make from the little amount of metal I have. And then we'll wrap up the video. So, All right. We got the rental. There's big college hunks. I'm rolling into the dump now. You're going to see where we're weighing in at. wonder if they're going to make me go to that hot place on top of the hill since I have so much brush and unloaded there or if I get to go to the normal hand unload hopefully we get to go to the normal hand unload but we'll see fifty five or fifty nine forty nine deposit yikes the cruddy thing about the deposits is they take like two days to come back into your account so Every time I go to the dump, I got $60 pulled out of my account for a few days. I mean, it doesn't really affect me at all, but it's kind of annoying. And unload lines kind of get stacked up today. Usually there's like no one in this line because obviously all the college hunks and the uh, established junk removal companies and landscapers and all of them have dump trailers and they have to go that way on top of the hill. And I have to go over here to the hand unload because I cannot afford a dump trailer yet, but hopefully soon. First, we got to get this... Uh, piece of junk sold and upgraded because this thing is not hauling no dump trailer i can tell you that much struggles to haul this landscaping trailer with walls on it what is college hunks doing back there it's weird sometimes i see college hunks coming over here to hand load and hand unloading the truck i don't know if that's because maybe some of their trucks are broken or something but i know they got a is you whatever truck that dumps so maybe the hydraulics are shot or something Alright, just finished up that load. It took a while, but all that stuff was jam-packed. Uh, look at this line for the scales. Holy, never seen it this long. Alright, just finished up at the scales and the dump. It was $29 and some change, so not too bad. I charged $170 for the 24-hour rental, but it was really, I dropped it off at like 4.30 and picked it up at 11 a.m. They didn't even need it for a full 24 hours. So 170 bucks minus 30 bucks. What's that? 150, no 140, $140 profit on the rental. Then if you want to take out gas expenses, we can take out 20 bucks, even though it's probably an overkill. So $120 profit on my trailer rental. Not bad at all. But like I said, that's not what this video is about. I'm gonna head home, drop this trailer off, pick up the one with all the scrap metal in it, and then actually go to the gym and park in the parking lot where the, there's no cars, obviously. So I'm not taking up spots. Hit a quick workout. I'm not gonna record that. This isn't a gym vlog. But if you ever wanna see one of those, maybe I will, who knows? And then we're gonna hit the scrap yard. I would just like stack up a bunch of metal and then just go out like the end of the month. But my parents hate when I just leave junk all over the yard and we already have a crap ton of, crap ton of stuff all over the garage and the carport and the end of the backyard. So every time I get a decent stack going in one of my trailers, I'll just go to the scrap yard real quick and get 30, 50 bucks, whatever I get for it. But realistically, if I saved all my metal from the month, I'd probably have a few hundred, if not 500 to a thousand on a good month where I get a lot of metal if I saved it all up, but I have nowhere to store it, obviously. So I have to go like every week and dump my metal. I'm gonna do that, then we'll be on the way to the scrap yard. So stay tuned for that. All right, change of plans. When I went home and dropped off that other trailer, my bigger one, and got the one with all the scrap metal in it, I brought it to the gym. We worked out way longer than we thought we would. It was like an hour and a half workout, and all we did was work out shoulders, but I'm following this new program. That's supposed to be really good. Then I got a phone call. Someone wants a pouch removed, and I told them four o'clock, and like I said, the workout kind of dragged out longer than I thought it would. I thought I was gonna go to the scrap yard around three o'clock, and then after the scrap yard, just head straight to this job. But we ended up being at the gym till like 3.10. So I just pretty much just had to go home, drop the trailer off, fill the scrap metal, 
and I'm just gonna bring just my truck to do this job. By the time I'm done with this job, um, the scrapyard's gonna be closed, they close at four. So we're gonna go to the scrapyard first thing in the morning, but hey, I'm not complaining. Um, if I get a job, I'm gonna obviously take a job over just going to the scrapyard. The scrapyard's not necessary, I can always push that off. But yeah, that's the plan, so I will see you guys in the morning. All right, Here goes Jerry. Uh, don't even think I'm gonna scrap that. This is what the metal pile's looking like. Not that much, but we'll see what we get. All right, we're finally here. Day later, our load rolling into the steel pile. A little tight. No line today. Got lucky. Only a few people. All right, real quick, we're about to roll on the scales, but this is exactly what I was talking about. As you can see, these appliance companies, I don't know if they're probably like an appliance store and they're getting rid of old appliances or broken ones. They probably accept them for free, but that would be a good way to where you could get into a scrap metal service. Like maybe you say you remove appliances for free or something like that, but that's the only way I could ever see you turning this into a, like a full-time job but that would be way down the road of probably doing it as a side hustle for years and i don't recommend doing that because that's probably not a super profitable business and probably be pretty hard to scale because there's a lot of competition and a lot of people that pick up scrap metal for like nothing and do it all day but yeah that's a good example of a company that probably makes a lot of money on scrap metal anyways rolling on to the scales now oh gotta get my id out all right we're only weighing 65 40 and I kind of know the weight of my truck. I think it's somewhere around 62. So this honestly is not going to be a lot. Probably like 20 or 30 bucks. But still, I'm just showing you guys the process of scrapping metal. It's more of the important part. But now I got to try to back this trailer in. So let's do that. Here's an appliance company, but this is what we got. Nothing really, this tub's super light, not even heavy. All right, so as you saw um, from that clip, it took me like not even a minute to unload that. It really was not even that much metal. And I kept the ladder in there because the ladder is pure aluminum. Like there's not one piece of metal on it. It's all aluminum. And when you have stuff that's all aluminum, like not even a, like one metal screw, because when you try to trade something in in the warehouse over there as pure aluminum and it has like a few bolts on it that are metal, they'll mark it as dirty aluminum and then you get like half as much money. But if you come with like straight clean aluminum with no paint on it, no metal screws screwed into it, which is usually like um, a screen enclosure around a pool, those are usually all aluminum. And if you take the screws out, you can get it as clean aluminum. Um, that ladder, aluminum sheet roofs, like stuff like that, they give you a lot for it. It's like twice as much as you get for steel. So when you get pure aluminum that doesn't have paint on it or any screws, definitely save that because that's like twice as much money as you get for steel. But yeah, we're pulling onto the scales now, waiting in line and see how much we get for that little amount of metal. I know it's not gonna be a lot. That, that metal was like from the amount of metal I got from like two jobs. My dump fees are usually like 20 bucks and if you save up all your metal and scrap it, you can pretty much cover a lot of your dump fee expenses by just doing this. And that's what I, what I kinda wanna show you guys today. Did this full time as a side hustle, you probably rake in anywhere from 500 to 1,000 extra dollars a month just doing it completely on the side. Scales, we go. Wow, it didn't even make a noise when I transitioned from the pavement to the scale. All right, now my ticket pops out down here in this little blue box. 
trying to pull away for so you guys can see it. Not bad. 36 bucks. I hope you all weren't expecting a lot. Honestly, that's more than I was expecting. I thought it'd be like 30. If you watch a lot of my videos, a lot of my dump fees are 15, 20 bucks. So two $15 dump fee loads, that covers two whole loads and just makes my each job that much more profitable. But I'll show you guys how I get my cash. Literally just pull over to this ATM. Oh, oh. Super easy. Over here, that's what it looks like. You hit, it says press any button here. I don't know if you can see that. There's a little scanner. Scans it right there. And your money pops out right here. Is that right? There it is. Throw your sheet in there. Grab your cash. And I also forgot to mention while I see it, see these big, uh, I can't zoom in on this front camera. This big truck right here that's going on the scale. Those guys go around and pick up junk cars and I'm sure they got contracts with junkyards or stuff like that. They make serious money, but they're literally TMR and that's the, what this place is called. It's called Trademark Recycling and those are trademark, trademark recycling trucks. I don't know how you get involved in that. I don't know anything about that, but I do know I see uh, we buy junk car signs all over the place and my dump pays $10 a hundred pounds. So if a car is like 3000 pounds, you're getting $300 for a car. So if people are trying to get rid of junk cars. Maybe like there's a rotten, completely trashed car sitting in someone's farm or like sitting in someone's backyard. It's been there for years. A lot of people will just get rid of old cars like that. And you can make some serious money doing that. But when you get to that point in the scrap metal game, becomes a marketing game because there's a lot of people in that business and everyone's undercutting everyone just like in any business but yeah 36 bucks and a little junk removal vlog for you guys if you watched the beginning of the video that's really all i got for this video i just wanted to show you guys the process of how to make money from scrap metal and how to go about it if you want to do it as a side hustle and how i go about it making that extra money for my junk removal business and covering more expenses by saving metal. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely hit that like button. Uh, comment below if you have anything to comment. If you do this already and you're just watching my video to watch it, comment how you do it, how you go about making your extra money scrapping your scrap metal. And that's it. So I'll see you guys next video. Peace.